Hello, my name is Dawn, and I'm going to take you through the key points of identify through conducting a SWOT analysis for Kim King. As you can hear, see here, the strengths identified are that it is a locally produced Irish product that is located in a tourist area. It is a unique product with a wide selection. It is unique in the fact that these superior, superior wax and cotton wicks to ensure optimum absorption and diffusion of the fragrance. Also, they have a, a unique variety of fragrances such as crazy as coconut. They have two ranges for the candles. One is the premium scent of candles and the other is the spark collection. As you can see here, that their shop atmosphere. The shop atmosphere was very important. They wanted the shop to, re to reflect the brand, but also be humming and inviting. They also have a, a second store, but it is also the candle making facility in Spittal. And moving on to the weaknesses, it is a small company run by Julian and Margaret, and as they have limited financial and human resources, it may cause a strain and deter them from moving on to new product ranges, such as their proposed skincare range. The next weakness is that they have a weak online presence. They don't sell through their own website, they don't have a website as of yet, or use any social media tools, but however, they do sell through other distributors. And the final weakness is that it is easily imitated. You can see that through, through the bigger stories copying the likes of Yankee Candles, but putting Dunn's label on it, or Penny's label, etc. Moving on to the opportunities, they can form alliances or collaborations with spas or hotels. They can set up an online shopping website, they need to make sure that it is shopping, and also that they need to collaborate social media tools such as Facebook and Twitter with this. And the other, the other opportunity is that they need to expand, they can expand throughout cities such as Cork or Limerick, or through tourist regions such as Kerry or Clare. Moving on to the threats. Because it is synonymous with the production of candles, it can confuse consumers when they move on to skincare products, when they see the brand on a skincare product. The other trait is that because it is a small player in a large, in a large environment, it is very easy for large competitors with high financial resources to come in and take a chunk out of that. And the last, the last threat will be that they, because they are located in a tourist region, they have high rates and rents. And the downside of this is that they, they have off-peak seasons, so that they would have less, they would have less of less sales. And that is the end of the SWOT analysis. I will now identify the key points identified through a pestle analysis. Technology is usually important nowadays, with it being used to contact all consumers. Political and legal reasons are also very important. A company needs to obey all, all corporate laws and also behave ethically and socially responsibly. And the final point is that the, the current economic climate has meant that people have less disposable income. It was also highlighted in the last number of years that Galway has become a bustling city during the summer months with events such as the Galway races and the Volvo Ocean Race causing huge amounts of visitors and tourists to visit the region. Um, the candles in general are uh, considered an inexpensive treat. Consumers now are purchasing candles to fragrance the home instead of harsh chemically enhanced fragrance or air fresheners. Um, Clinking currently fits with consumer industry trends well. Um, Clinking can hit, the, hit their competitors' markets. The competitors such as Jumano and the Yankee Candle have, are much more expensive and a lot of their consumers will have been hit by the recession and will be looking for more affordable and luxury, luxurious products. So it is important for Clean Clean to market themselves as such. And that is the end of this topic.